You see, when these piglets are born, it's one exciting experience every farmer can relate to. You know, you have 10 piglets, 8 piglets, 12 piglets, depending on how many you get. Yeah, you tend to look into the future with that eye. You calculate how much you're going to get from this whole thing. But then some changes in the piglet start coming up. Negative changes that um, require some attention. And these changes can lead to piglet mortality. Now in this video, we're going to expose some of these things that cause piglet mortality. And we're going to talk about how we can tackle them, reduce the cases of piglet mortality in our farms. And then we're going to see how we can move forward from there. So don't fail to hit the subscribe button because here you get timely tips and information that can help you succeed in your pig farming business. So one of the first things that causes piglet mortality in a farm is weak piglets. It could come as a result of maybe um, delayed farrowing or some complications that may have come about during the farrowing period. Yet if there is um, such kind of complications, some of these piglets might likely come out weak. And uh, this weakness also makes it difficult for them to compete for its teeth with other piglets. That is where it all starts from. So they don't get enough breast milk, they can't get enough vitality, they can't survive. And that is how piglets die. As farmers, we need to be able to look out for weak piglets and assist them to get the cholesterol at that early stage. Then we can increase our chances of having more piglets surviving in the farm. Second cause of piglet mortality that we're going to discuss is crushing. Crushing and overlaying. There are some people call it overlaying, some people call it crushing, depending on what you want to call it. It just means that the sow lies over the piglet and kills it. Yes, sows behave like this sometimes. They are usually very heavy, tired, and this happens sometimes or most times around um, that first period when the sow fowls. When the sow has um, given birth to say two, three, four piglets or just finished fowling, the weaker ones may not be able to um, run fast away from the sow when she's about to lie down or when she's about to change position and stuff like that. And then she ends up laying over some of these weak piglets. They scream and then they screech and they make a lot of noise, but the sow might be too lazy to get up. She may even try to get up, but it only worsens the situation sometimes. So um, it's a very bad experience and a very um, horror way of um, piglets dying in the farm. Farmers have to look out for things like this. One way farmers have been able to reduce or curb this um, crushing in the farm is by using crates. This works a lot. If we don't have crates, there are still other ways we can go about it. You see, the idea is for the piglets to be away from the sow most of the time. We can do this by creating a separate section in the pen where piglets can cohabit separately from the sow. There is a lot of things that this small area can help us pig farmers achieve. Um, call it nest, call it um, whatever you want. That separate area where the sow cannot access can do wonders in the farrowing pen. We are going to learn more about this area in one of the next causes of piglet mortality, which is chilling. No matter how okay the environment might seem, it's not as warm as it is in the womb of the sow. So most piglets that don't have a lot of body mass, maybe talking about 0.8 kg, not up to 1 kg piglets, are prone to um, being chill, are prone to having cold feet. Chilling may also come as a result of cold environment in our pens. We need to avoid that as farmers. If you realize that um, your, your sow is giving birth during the cold period, try to make the pen as warm as possible. Yes, that is where that separate area comes in. If you use the separate area effectively by providing warmth, extra warmth in that separate nest, you can achieve a greater percentage of piglet survivability in your farm. This uh, nest or this separate area helps the piglet to stay away from the sow as much as possible. Because most times, once the piglets are cold, they tend to go close to the sow to get warmth. And being close to the sow is risky because the sow can decide to turn over, not considering whether there are some piglets around her, and then crushing one or two weak ones, or even sometimes stepping on them with her hoof. That causes a lot of damage to the piglets. And before they could get back to their feet, sometimes these things happen repeatedly. Some agile piglets may even become weak, and that is how piglet mortality begins to encroach. We as farmers need to make sure we have a way of providing warmth 
in our pens, in our filing pens. Um, if it is the advanced system you are doing, you can yes have um, crates to prevent the restrict um, contact between the sow and the piglets. Um, if it is um, the regular system, you can have a separate area in your pen where you can create warmth for the piglets. Whichever way you want to achieve this, just make sure that you are giving your piglets a top-notch treat once they come into the farrowing pen. Research shows that piglets that are kept separate from the sow tend to do better. They are free and safe from crushing and then also they are warm. They don't need to go to achieve warmth from the sow and then become exposed to crushing and other kind of issues like that. Let us now discuss another cause of piglet mortality, diarrhea. Yeah, diarrhea have killed more piglets than any other cause of piglet mortality. If you know diarrhea, then you know pig farming. This is one of the major challenges that most pig farmers have to go through. So if you are experiencing diarrhea in your farm, there is a lot of causes. There is a lot of things that causes um, um, diarrhea. I may have to um, cook up a different video, a special video for diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, he's actually a, a big guy. When you have issues of diarrhea in your farms, when you see your piglets start doing the watery stool, try to detect it very early. The first thing you need to do is to know what is causing the diarrhea. Now, diarrhea may be caused by several factors, maybe nutritional diarrhea, it could be maybe as a result of oversupply of breast milk, it could be caused by pathogenic interference in the intestine, diarrhea could also be viral, maybe from another pen. It is when you know the cause of this diarrhea that you'll be able to tackle it effectively. Yes, some diarrheas that happen in our farms could be solved by one thing. Sometimes you may just need to curtail the amount of feed you give to the sow, and then all of a sudden you see the diarrhea reduce. Also, there is use of antibiotics that can help us achieve this. Just a little dose of zinc or sulfur could go a long way in eliminating diarrhea from your piglets. But it all depends on how early you've discovered the diarrhea. Try to detect it very early. One way we can improve the body condition of a piglet that is going through diarrhea is to try to give it water, rehydrate the piglets. This seems like something that is too much, but if you can do this, it helps a lot. Tooling makes the piglets weak because they lose hydration in their body. They don't get a lot of water based on the fact that they are stooling and then they become weaker. Most of the time, piglets may die out of dehydration than even the diarrhea itself. Yes, diarrhea causes dehydration. And if you don't tackle the dehydration, the piglets may not be able to come back to its feet enough to respond to the medication that you may likely administer. So it's important to take note of all these factors when handling diarrhea. I'm still going to drop a video on how to tackle diarrhea effectively, broadly explain it so that we can effectively deal with this major cause of piglet mortality. Yeah, so um, that video link, I'm going to place it somewhere around here, you know in um, the screen so that you can easily click on it and then use it for better understanding on how to reduce piglet mortality in the farm so that's it for now i don't forget to like and subscribe and um, you know hit the notification so that you don't miss any of our next content coming up right here in pork farms see you guys in our next video